Well, hello there everyone. This is UXW Bill. I came outside just a couple of minutes ago, and as I got close to my truck, getting ready to visit the local grocery emporium, I thought I heard a very strange noise. A squealing noise, a plaintive cry perhaps, for help from some sort of a forgotten electronic device. And I decided to see whether or not I could find it. Not sure if you can hear that or not, but it definitely sounds like it's coming from in here. So let's see if we can find out what it might be. It's definitely getting louder. I think I'm on the right track here. At first I thought maybe I had an uninterruptible power supply out here that had failed its self-test. And yes, I will admit that this is right now an unholy mess, but there's a lot of different stuff being worked on out here. Plus, I'm trying very hard to find homes for stuff from the Roach Palace. But all that's beside the point. So if you can't make a comment that's nice and on topic, I formally and politely suggest that you don't bother. Look what we have here. I went and picked up a whole load of these a couple of months ago from just outside the Chicago suburbs. And the thing about the APC Smart UPS, in case you're unfamiliar with them, they've got to have a good battery in place, or they'll behave very strangely or even refuse to power up at all. Now, it caused a lot of people to become very alarmed when my Smart UPS 420 decided to suffer a faulty battery a couple of years ago. Some people felt that it was going to explode. No, it wasn't. It was actually the piezoelectric beeper module inside the UPS that was making that noise under command from the electronics, although they were running in a corrupted and improper state, just like this particular unit is right now. I thought I'd pulled all the batteries out of these, but apparently I forgot one of them. And so now it's sitting here having a good cry, begging for attention. What I'm very curious about, and again, this is one of those largely pointless videos, I suppose. I'm curious if I fish out its power cord, which I've got to find. If I fish out the power cord, and I plug it in, Plug another UPS out here. Will this thing's logic straighten up and fly right? It would appear not. I almost expected that it would have when a battery charging circuit kicked in. But enough of that. I'm not going to let this thing sit out here and howl all night. Okay, I'm going to have to have a screwdriver to do that. Do anything with it, probably. So I guess I'll see if I can find one real quick. Furhead might have one. Furhead does have one. We'll move the ladder. We'll move my solar panel experiment. And we'll come back here. Oh man. Of course I dropped the screwdriver on the floor. You know, they're trying to Fuse a bomb it probably would have exploded by now. Whew! Sweet relief. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll have to pull the batteries out of that one at my earliest convenience. But there we go. Another great mystery solved. A ghost in the machine that has been exorcised. So thank you as always for watching, and by all means, certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you have one.